How to fix a broken chain with soldering paste and you don't need a soldering iron. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this pendant and ring video. Today we are going to share a trick with you, but before we get started, click that subscribe button and help us get to 100 subscribers so we can name this channel. To do this repair, you will need a pen knife, a small file, a nail file will do, a small pair of pliers, a butane lighter, some solder paste, and some toothpicks. As you can see, we have a broken Figaro chain here, but this repair will work with any kind of chain. If your chain has a link pattern, make sure to keep the pattern by removing excess links as needed. Step 1. Unite both sides of the chain using an open link. Charles is using a small pair of jeweler's pliers here, but you can also use tweezers. Once both sides are united, bend the link back into shape. Close the link by bringing both ends of the link into contact with each other. Take your time to line up the ends. This will serve as a support structure for your repair. Once your link is lined up and closed, it's time for step two. You're going to need a helper or a weight. Charles is using a doming block here. The weight puts a small amount of tension on the chain, which helps you make the repair. Now that the chain is secure, it's time for step three. Preheat the repair link. Use the butane lighter to warm up the metal so the solder paste can attach. Preheating the metal excites the molecules so they can more easily bond with the solder molecules. Take your time. When you feel a little heat in your fingertips, the silver is ready. Step four, apply the paste. It only takes a little solder paste to make a good repair. Make sure to put the lid on your tube of solder paste because it dries out quickly. Use a toothpick to scoop up a small amount of the paste and apply it to the repair link. It's easier to add more paste in thin layers than it is to remove too much solder paste from the link. Take your time building a layer of paste, then add heat. Now would be a great time to click on that subscribe button. We're closing in on 100 subscribers, but we need your help to get there. Click the button, lend us a hand. Apply heat in short bursts. We don't want to burn the solder. You will want to make this repair in a well-ventilated room or outside to avoid breathing the solder smoke. Add more layers of paste, and if you accidentally add too much, wait a beat for the paste to dry. Then use a toothpick to knock off the excess. Repeat the heating process, then check to see if you need more layers of paste. If you don't, then it's time to move on to step 5, smoothing. Knock off any loose bits with a toothpick. Use your fingers to feel for burrs and bumps. Often we can feel more than we can see. Use the file to remove any large imperfections. Stop frequently to examine your work. Go slow and take your time. This is not a race. This is a quality repair and that takes time. After filing, you can use the pen knife to remove burrs on the interior of the link. Check your work as you go. The pen knife is also good at scraping any excess material off of the outside of the link. Make sure to check both sides of the link as you progress. Hey, did you do it? Did you click that subscribe button yet? We really appreciate it. Sometimes you'll find it easier to switch back and forth between the pen knife and the file. Use your eyes and your fingers to find burrs, then remove them carefully and methodically so you don't have to start the repair process all over again. When you are satisfied with the smoothness of your repair, visually inspect the repair link and compare it to the links on either side. How does your repair look? Look closely, really close. Examine all sides of the repaired link. Examine the inside and the outside. File or scrape more as needed, then run your eyes along the length of the chain to see how well your repair fits in. Can you see Charles's repair link? Notice that it is the same length and width as the long links in the Figaro pattern. Now you know how to repair your broken necklace with solder paste too. Thank you for joining us today. Comment and ask questions below. Like the video if you liked it. 
subscribe. And if you want notifications of new videos, click the little bell. Before you go, check out this video. We think you'll like it.